Hello there, my friends. Welcome back to Ever Film Stars. In this video, we are going to check out what happened to the actors from the 44 year old soap opera Dallas. You will see what time has done to the cast of Dallas. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's start. First off, we have John Ewing III, the neglected son of John Ewing. He seems craftily and evil, but beneath that layer, he is a complicated sweetheart. He just wants his birthright and his father's approval. The character was played by Omri Katz, who was 7 years old. Omri Katz is now taking a break from acting with a surprising career as a cannabis entrepreneur who owns the Mary Dumpsters. In one social media post, he told his fans that he has been part of the cannabis community for 20 years. He is currently 46 years old. April Stevens is a smart, attractive and seductive woman who aims to get some of the Ewing fortune. She marries Bobby Ewing but dies in his arms when she is shot and killed on their honeymoon in Paris. April was played by Sherry Wilson who was 28 years old. Sherry Wilson went on to work on several mainstream films during his career, earning herself a net worth of over $5 million. Now, she currently resides in LA where she enjoys working with charitable organizations like the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. She is 64 years old. Sylvia Lauren is the loyal secretary to John Ewing. She dutifully performs any task that her boss asks her to which most times is to get the dirt on his competitions. She repeatedly finds herself entangled in many of his schemes. The character was played by Deborah Renard, who was 22 years old. Deborah Renard is now a successful actress, writer and producer working with heretic films in production and development. She recently revealed that she has been filming a very cool horror psychological drama called Appendage for the streaming service Hulu. She is 63 years old. Donna Culver Krebs is the unfaithful ex-wife to the governor of Texas. She gets married to Ray Krebs, who she divorces after they have a daughter together. She is one of Bobby Ewing's closest friends and allies. Donna was acted by Susan Howard, who was 35 years old. Susan Howard is now an increasingly active supporter of conservative causes, especially for gun rights. She was even appointed by George Bush to be a commissioner for the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. She is also an active member of the Writers Guild of America, currently 78 years old. Clayton Farlow is the wealthy, hot-tempered second husband of Miss Ellie Ewing. He has a crazy sister, Jessica Farlow, who set his first wife, Emmy, ablaze. Clayton is known for being very jealous of Jock Ewing. The character was played by Howard Keel, who was 62 years old. Utilizing the fame that the show gave him, Howard Keel went ahead to thrive in his music career. His songs and albums were recognized worldwide. His last screen appearance was in the 2002 movie My Father's House. He lost his life to colon cancer in 2004 at the age of 85. Pamela Ewing is the sister of Clifford Barnes and the ex-wife of Bobby Ewing. She is the senior executive at Barnes Wentworth Oil. Pamela is known for having unfortunate miscarriages that are caused by domestic accidents. Pamela was played by Victoria Principal who was 28 years old. Victoria Principal retired from acting in 2001 and launched a cosmetic line, Principal Secret, which she later sold in April 2019. After selling her successful business, she now spends her day at her ranch rescuing and rehabilitating animals. It's no surprise that her net worth is a whopping $350 million. She is currently 72 years old. Lucy Ewing is the troublemaking daughter of Gary Ewing and Valine Ewing. She is the niece of Bobby Ewing, John Ewing and Ray Krebs. Over time, Lucy changes her ways and calms down from her youthful whims. She then decides to move to Italy, seeking adventure. The character was played by Charlene Tilton, who was 20 years old. Charlene Tilton 
is now a strong advocate for autism awareness in the media. Currently the ambassador for Actors for Autism, an organization that leads impro and acting workshops for children and adults with autism. She is presently 64 years old. Jock Ewing is the founder of Ewing Oil and the patriarch of the Ewing family. He single-handedly makes Ewing Oil the largest independent oil company in dollars before he dies in a helicopter crash on a journey back from a dangerous expedition. The Jock character was dedicated to Jim Davis who was 69 years old. During the recording of the fourth season of the show, Jim Davis was diagnosed with a type of bone marrow cancer but continued to film the show as long as he could. He died of complications from his illness while season 4 was being aired on April 26, 1981 at the age of 71. Ray Krebs is the illegitimate son of Jack Ewing and an army nurse, Margaret Hunter. He loves handing out at the Longhorn Bar, tossing back a few drinks, occasionally indulging in fist fights and always flirting with the girls. Ray later travels to Europe to get away from the shadow of the Ewing family. The actor, Steve Kennelly, was 32 years old. Through the years, Steve has earned a net worth of $3 million. He now lives with his wife on a ranch in Ohio, California as an influential watercolor artist. Steve is currently 76 years old. Sue Ellen Ewing is the long-suffering ex-wife of John Ewing and the mother of John Ross Ewing III. She is constantly cheated on by John. She gets into several relationships because of her loneliness and to get back at her cheating husband. The role of Sue was played by Linda Gray, who was 38 years old. Linda Gray now champions organizations she believes in, including baby to baby which helps provide children in need with essentials like food and diapers. She lives a low-key life in California, suburb of Valencia, where she owns a ranch. She is 81 years old. Clifford Barnes is the competitor and biggest rival of John Ewing, scheming against John politically, romantically and financially but always fails. He has a reputation for being cheap and naive. He prefers take-out Chinese cuisine, wears cheap suits and lives in a condominium. Clifford was played by Ken Keshwar, who was 43 years old at the time. Keshwar recently appeared in the 2021 movie Surviving in LA as Charlie. He gained a net worth of $800,000 before his death. He died of pneumonia on 21st April 2019 at the age of 83. Illinois Miss Ellie Fallow is the matriarch of the Ewing family. She is the widow of Jack Ewing and wife of Clayton Fallow. She has a firm courage and an energetic belief in the strength of family that keeps the Ewings together. The character of Ely was played by Barbara Bell Gates, who was 56 years old at the time. Barbara effectively retired from acting in 1990. She then wrote and illustrated two children's books before her death. She passed away due to cancer at the age of 82. Bobby Ewing is the multi-talented, strong-willed son of Jack and Eleanor Ewing. He has a selfless desire to do the right thing, despite being short-tempered. Bobby is his father's favorite son. So this causes rivalry between him and his mean-spirited older brother John. The actor Patrick Duffy was 29 years old. Patrick Duffy has since continued to pursue his TV career starring in four recent movies as well as the TV show The Bald and the Beautiful. He entered into a relationship with actress Linda Pearl in 2020. He is now 73 years old. Finally, the John Ewing. John J.R. Ewing is the shrewd, ruthless, conniving Texas oil tycoon who serves as president and CEO of Ewing Oil. He is a covetous, egocentric and manipulative oil baron with psychopathic tendencies who is constantly scheming to plunder his force and their wealth. He is also well known for having numerous mistresses and affairs. The role was played by Larry Hagman who was 47 years old at the time. Before he died, Larry Hagman was actively involved in a series of civic and philanthropic events an adamant non-smoker. He served as the chairperson of the American Cancer Society. He died November 23, 2012 from complications of acute myeloid leukemia at the age of 81. Did you know the house used as the South Fork Ranch house was a real Texas residence called Duncan Acres owned by Joe Duncan. 
When the show became popular, tourists from all over the world visited the house day and night. The Duncan family was forced to sell the house and it is now a museum devoted to the show. Larry Hugman claimed the show received more fan mail for Jeremy Wendell, William Smithers than any other villain. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the video, don't hesitate to tap that like button, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.